When we talk about India's digital future, you can look at it in dozens of different ways. Digital commerce, um, ease of living, et cetera, et cetera. I want to firstly focus on 6G being a reality around the world and in India in a finite amount of time. How will the induction or the introduction of 6G technology and greater bandwidth available to all telecom manufacturers translate into a new reality for us, which will again help us economically. No, so that's critical because we were late in 2G, 3G, 4G. We just about caught up in 5G and we should be ahead of the rest of the world in 6G. Why it's important is because India's model of digitization is very different from the rest of the world. When, if you look at the Western part of the world, most technological innovation have been carried out by big tech. It's Google, it's Meta, it's Apple, it's Amazon. And in China, by Tencent and Alibaba, what India has done differently is that it created the digital identity layer and on top of which you allowed private sector to compete. You know, so Paytm competes with Amazon Pay, Phone Pay competes with Google Pay. Everybody's competing in the marketplace. So we created what we call as open source, as open API, globally interoperable model. And during G20, the world said that this is the model to be followed because our data is held by individual citizens. Your data is controlled by you under the digital empowerment protection architecture, whereas in the West, all the data is controlled by Google and right. by uh, Meta and in China by Tencent and Alibaba. And therefore, the ownership of the data is with you. And that, to my mind, is going to be the future of the world. And open source will be the future of the world. Now, when C 6G comes in, it'll enable you to do much more work, much rapid work on urbanization, on water supply, on improving. You know, I mean, all this talk of AI is all about large language models right now. Every day are new large language models. But AI should impact the lives of the citizens. So you need AI for improving learning outcomes, for improving health outcomes. You need it for improving nutritional standards. That's what I, AI should be used to create a better society and to improve the quality of life of citizens and to improve human development, not to create just large language models which can be con in conflict tomorrow because of the ethics and because of the assumptions on which they are based. And therefore, it's very critical that we divert AI for transforming lives of citizens.